Okay, let's see if we can go have a drink with our buddy. Hi, Hal. <laughs> Not broken. Do you want to drink with me? <laughs> Would you like a nipperkin, Rahel? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's laughing out loud. A nipperkin from nipperkin. It's been a long time since I laughed so heartily. I'm pretty funny, I'll have you know. So, how about it? I appreciate your offer, but I have a feeling you should give that bottle to someone who needs it more. What? Okay, if you say so. She's been right before, so I guess I should take that advice to heart. Okay, <laughs> hey, I got an achievement for it, though. <laughs> well. <clears throat> Damn. Fine. I mean, I guess I'll encourage <clears throat> alcoholism some more. Hey. Wait, you don't even have a fucking exclamation mark. Wait a minute. Are you not who I'm supposed to- Wait, is it supposed to be the guide? Am I supposed to offer a drink to the guide? Because he's overworked. He's literally working at the moment, though. I feel like drinking on the job is a bad plan. I'm gonna offer it to him first. What? What? Hey, yo. Or not. Okay, bye. Mm. How about you? Do you want a drink? Mm. I can't offer you a drink. Sorry. Sorry, homie. What the fuck was Smiley going on about at the moment? The guide refused. Whatever. Goodbye. It's fine. I'm gonna go fucking encourage drinking on the <sighs> job, I guess. <laughs> New arrivals only. I really need his help. Hey, do you want to drink on the job fine i'll fucking talk to smiley about it <sighs> the guy's being a butt hmm. what did he say that he was busy greeting new arrivals basically oh i know about this i can't believe he's recycling that old spiel then again he was bound to run out of ideas at some point what what do you mean Basically, you're not going to be able to talk to him again unless you're a new arrival. Yeah, but I'm not. Well, obviously. Luckily for you, I have a thing that can help you. Okay. However, in return. <sighs> okay. I want my shiny thing back from the drunkard. A oh, fucking... Get alive! Oh, yeah. But he said it was his. And you trust his word over mine? Ugh. Well, he didn't trick me on my first day here, so he's currently ahead of you on the scale of trustworthiness. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Be that as it may, though. No coin, no deal. Sorry, Astrid. I don't need your stupid fucking help anyways. Fuck you. Maybe Locke will relent if I ask very nicely. <sighs> I don't like you. Can I just kill you instead? Hey, sorry, pal. Um, guess what? Uh, why am I the fucking mediator for this? <clears throat> Y'all are grown ass adults. Fucking figure it out yourselves. Dear God. <sighs> Smiley needs the coin back because he's stupid. <sighs> oh, you're kidding, right? Why would I ever give my coin to him? Uh, because I... <sighs> I really need his help. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Look, lady. I'm sorry, but I can't part with it. <sighs> I just... I can't, okay? I don't want to convince you. Do you want bourbon? <sighs> oh, what's that? Oh, this? Just some world-class modern luxury bourbon. 
But I guess you wouldn't be interested in that. So maybe I should just throw it away. Throw it away? Homegirl, just drink it yourself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, how modern is it? Never seen him this excited. Well, the 2010s? Damn, 100 years younger than me. Never tried anything that new. I mean, obviously, old liquors are always better. But I've tried all the old stuff. Maybe all the booze of the future is just what I need. Would you be willing to trade then? Mm. Well, I... Mm. <sighs> no, I'm sorry. I just can't. Yeah, I didn't want this to work. Who... What do you mean, hey? Who's he, who's saying hey? Oh. Mm. Hey, if he isn't interested, then I am. It's that shadow who's always really annoyed. <sighs> As with you. Mm. What? Things are shit enough here, and I'm not about to let them get even worse by wasting quality battery acid. Okay. And why should I give it to you? Because I can help you. We girls stick together, right? You know, I've always been so nice to you. We've barely met, and you've been really snippy every time. You know what I mean, sister. I really don't. Now give Mama some of the good stuff, and in return, she, I mean, I will give you some amazing advice. How do I know I can trust you? Uh, Locke? What? Can I trust her? I guess I'm basing this on you. No, but you should give it to her anyway. She's a bitch, but she does know a lot of stuff. Uh, did you just b-word me, man bitch? <laughs> You wanna do you want me to do worse? Give her me your best shot, you hunky little dog you. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. So what's it gonna be Astrid? <coughs> I joked. Um I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Astrid That's your name, right? What the fuck is her deal? <laughs> I suppose I'll give it to you. Great choice. I'll open this bad boy up right away. Mm. Come see me when you're done talking to this waste of space, and I'll hook you up. Um, so, uh, she's not exactly pleasant. <sighs> oh, she's the worst. <sighs> hey, look. Um, I'm not good with people. My whole life I've been working with working my hands, working my brain, just working and working, working, trying to turn my luck around. What you did before, giving me my coin back, it really meant a lot. So when I say that I'm sorry for not giving it to you, I'm being pretty damn serious. I really wish I could, you know. I believe you. <clears throat> just like that. Yeah, I didn't want to take it from you in the first place. This whole thing seemed fucked up to begin with. I don't think you're a bad person at all. I haven't been here long, although technically <laughs> for over 10 years, but I've had some time to think regardless of that, that we're all in this together, you know? Like maybe you know why you're here, maybe you don't, but all of this is just off the charts bizarre. <laughs> I don't blame anyone for having a bad attitude, I mean I'm barely holding it together myself. And hey, I'm an actress. I can tell when people put on a facade. <sighs> I'd love to learn more about you, Locke. Whenever you feel you're ready to open up. I, uh, that is... Well... <laughs> wow, <laughs> you really are bad with words. <laughs> Thanks, lady. Hope you find what you're looking for. Just... Be careful around him, alright? Huh? Okay, sure. That wasn't specific enough. But okay. <sighs> what the hell do you want? Girl, you just told me to come over here. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, oh, sorry, asterisk. I didn't see you there. Come for your reward, huh? Um, no, I've come to hear you make fun of my name some more. <laughs> Sure, I can do that. It's a joke. Not a very funny one. 
Um, please just give me the information so that I can leave. Fine. What do you want to, what do you know about the wishing well? It, it grants wishes? I wish. Uh, got it. That was a funny joke. So like, you should take notes. For the love of... Anyway, if you throw stuff in there, there's like a way to transform it into similar stuff. I don't know the whole deal behind it, but like, I mean, in fact, I'm fairly sure no one knows. Except our lovely warden, of course. Warden. She thinks of purgatory as a prison? I mean, I suppose we are stuck here until we manage to get out, so in a sense, it's fading. But I digress. The local drunks have found a way to increase income by throwing stuff in there and magically turning it into money. I figured that might solve your little problem of getting a coin to Smiley. And yes, I overheard your whole conversation because, like, I don't have a life. Literally. You need to pay to get stuff here? Look, don't ask me about the rules of this place. I'm just trying to live one day at a time, okay? More importantly, do you even have anything that sort of looks like a coin? Because if you don't, you should find something like that. And if you do, well, listen up. You throw the similar thing in the well and you say the three magic words. Money, moolah, macchiato. <laughs> I'm almost 100% certain that's not what you, you don't have to say that to get stuff out of it. She just made this up. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? I don't know, do you? No. Look, people don't like me and I don't like them, but what I do like is some damn good booze. So I'm not gonna lie to you, Astro. Sorry, <laughs> first of habit. Okay, well, um, thanks. Don't mention it. No, in the words of the great poet, Dingus Dingus Dongus. Hmm. A piss off, would you kindly? You don't have to tell me twice. Wild. Absolutely wild. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wait, do I? I don't. Oh, wait. But I'm supposed to hold on to this. Rahel. Rahel, are you cool if I throw this plate <laughs> in the well? I hate to do this to you, but I'm gonna throw this in the well. Please hold on. No, oh no. I don't wanna throw it in the well. Ah! Shit. Shit. It's a wishing well. Surely placed here to wish us well. <sighs> Shit. I don't want to, I'm afraid that, hold on, maybe I can get something off a of fucking smiley. He's a damn idiot who wants a coin in the first place. About that coin, what about it? Um, I really need it, so I might have to punch you. Nah, you won't. You're way too nice to do something like that. Bitch, that's... <laughs> that makes me want to punch you even fucking more. You have no idea. Ugh, oh, stupid nice Astrid. Um, okay, bye. I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I'm literally... I'm going to kill you. Again, I know that everybody here is already dead. But you're gonna be super dead. Hey, are there any little coin-like things in here? Full of makeup. Get like a fucking foundation compact or something. That looks like a coin. Damn. Damn shit. Damn. Okay. <sighs> shit. Mm. Oh, Oof. never mind. Is there anything here? Anything at all? N <laughs> okay, we're seeing about dark parts. Okay, fine, 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 fine. 
God damn it. I don't want to do this. I'm sorry, or hell. She's right here, too. She's gonna fucking see me doing this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Here goes. Money Mula Macchiato. Okay. Oh. It's floating, but it looks different. Ah, oh, sick. Sick. It's similar to that dang coin. It's a fake coin. Wow. Okay. Definitely good enough to pull a smiley. <laughs> ah, look at you, Nebrican. Finding balsam wherever you go. One question, though. Did you just throw away my plate? Ah, uh, um... It, it's a long story, and I'm sorry. I really didn't want to have to do it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry. Here, I'm gonna beat you to death about that coin. I'm gonna fucking shove this up your butt. It's your lucky day, Smiley. Check it out. What the? Oh, you actually pulled through. Dang, Astrid, you're beyond impressive. And best of all, Drunko has to be extremely angry right now, right? That's, that's really why you wanted it, isn't it? Because you're just a petty little bitch. Oh yeah, totally. He's, um, boiling with pure anger. This might be the best day of my life. Astrid, uh, will you marry me? What the fuck? Just kidding. <laughs> Unless... I'm gonna kill you! Oh, well. Still, you're my favorite girl in purgatory. That's for dang sure. I'm for real on the verge of murder. Are you gonna help me or not? Of course I will. Behold, the amazing item that will allow you to progress your journey. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking beat you to death with this sign. Apparently this will allow you to make contact with the guide again. It might just be dumb enough to work. I feel like you're about to get me in trouble. Look, I know it's a silly idea, but this is what I came up with back when he pulled that move on me, and I promise you, it totally worked. Okay. But if it doesn't work, your ass is grass. Yeah, yeah, I know, you'll punch me. No, I'm gonna fully kill you. No. More. Nice. Miss Braid. I'll, I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you. Ugh. This is so stupid. This is so, so, so stupid. I'm gonna kill him anyways, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> New arrivals only. Well, as a matter of fact... As you can tell from this uh, sign, I am clearly a new arrival. So you'll help me now, right? <laughs> oh, very good. Of course, you shamelessly stole someone else's solution, but hey, that's on me for sticking to old material. Aww. I seem to find myself in dire need of reinvention. Maybe you can help me with that. Do you know, do you know any actors that could assist me in further developing my persona, perhaps? What? I'm not here to help you, you're here to help me? Your whole shtick is you're a fucking guide. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill everyone here. <laughs> so bold. I love it. Hmm. Very well, Miss Braid. You've earned yourself some of my time. What would you like to know? <laughs> I mean, obviously, I already know what you want to know, since I know everything. But please, ask away, as it makes the scene more dramatic that way. You're all dead. You're all fucking dead to me. So last night... Hmm. Yes, that was weird how he got in there. That usually isn't possible. As befits a main character, you're quite special, Miss Braid. Main character? Indeed. 
<laughs> wink, wink. Who the fuck are you winking at? Also, you're not supposed to actually say wink out loud. Can you not wink? That's embarrassing. Oh, no one in particular. Anyway, hmm. whatever happened to you before you died is directly connected to what you experienced after your quite quite decennial rest. The key to getting out of here is, well, that thing. I've compelled him to visit your room once more, so go back there and wait. Until he comes for you. Him? <laughs> oh, my. I may have said too much already. Enjoy the show, Miss Braid. This could have all been solved. I didn't have to do all of this if I had just gone back to my room. Rahel, I'm having <laughs> problems. Everybody's yanking my fucking chain and I'm really annoyed. Why does it have an exclamation mark still? Did I break this? <laughs> Whoops. Okie dokie, bye. <sighs> oh, fucking pain in the ass. Everybody being crazy. Okay, so if what the guide said is correct, I should just have to wait here for a while. I do wonder how long, though. And, I mean, at this point, can he even be trusted? Suppose I don't have a choice, as per usual. God, I'm so tired of not having a choice. Or actually, what was it Rahel said about people being connected? Hmm, what if... Warning. About to make a pivotal choice. Okay. Um. Actually, I'll make a new save. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm thinking about Rahel because I just thought about the fact that she was the one who was talking about connections and she. <coughs> Let's see, Rahel. I know this is dumb, but hey, can <laughs> hey girl, hey, can you hear me? Nope. Listen, we've all tried this at some point, right? You gotta check if you have some magic powers. I should have expected as much. Guess I'll... Knocking? The quietest knocking on my open door? Uh, come in? Uh -huh. Oh, hello, Nipperkin. Rahel! It worked! What did? I thought about you, and now you're here! Oh, my dear Gapseed. I'm delighted to hear that you remember what I said. Somehow I'm finding it hard to forget anything you say. <sighs> Networking. Rahel, I, uh... <clears throat> I'm trying really hard to find out who I am and why I'm here. It might be selfish of me to ask this, but could you say something that makes me feel better? Just anything at all? Hmm. I will try. I've been in purgatory longer than any Borashio I have ever met. The first 20 years went by slowly as I tried to accustom myself to this new existence. It often felt like a curse being here, as it probably does for most people. When I was alive, I was very curious, loved learning of new things, odd things, spectacular things. <gasps> it was... I was difficult for my father to handle. Was he your only family? My mother died giving birth to me, so yes. It was common in those days, unfortunately. I regret never having known her. Sorry for making you remember that. Hmm. Do not worry, Nipperkin. I will continue my attempt to make you feel better. I realized after those first slow years that maybe this isn't a curse after all, but something far greater, full of possibilities chance for me to continue learning. Today I definitely know much more than any brother of the quill I ever met when I was alive. The advice I'm trying to give you, Nipperkin, is that even when your very beliefs are shattered, there is always a new day tomorrow. <coughs> Damn, I was like, oh man, nice, voiced, voiced line so I can take a sip of water. And then, of course, I almost choked on that because I'm not equipped to be alive, apparently. I'm sorry if that wasn't what you wanted to hear. Oh, for hell, I... It made me feel much better. Thank you so much. 
<laughs> Bless my pleasure, lovely Gipsip. Hey, um, there's something I need to do, and even though I don't really want to, I think I have to do it alone. So, um, if you don't mind... Hmm? Oh, of course. But please remember, you're never truly alone. Just think of me and I will find you again. I promise. Until we meet again, Nipperkin. Felt comforting talking to her for a while. It's amazing, really, that I've made a connection like this in such a short time. I suppose being here under these extremely weird circumstances truly brings us together. And on that note, looks like I'm about to have another kind of company. Come out, come out wherever, whoever you are. Astrid. Yeah, that's me. Who are you? Look back. Look back? Look back. Yeah! Look back on our life together, all the things we've shared. You're saying you want to throw it all away? And for what? For acting? You can't keep being this selfish. The choices you make affect us both. What the fuck? And someone else's body? I can't move or speak. Are you gonna tell me about being selfish? You're never home. Wait, that's me talking. So this argument is between me and that shadow? Memories? You know why I'm never home. I don't have a choice. I'm helping people. And I'm supporting us. You just love playing the hero, don't you? I help people too, you know. After GGG, I think those are all G's. <laughs> After GGG premiered, that one reviewer wrote that it changed his life. That's called inspiring people. When was the last time you did something like that? He was being sarcastic. No one actually likes those exploitative and demeaning B movies. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply that your work is. It's just... It's so hard, Astrid. We're not listening to each other. Oh, we're super not listening to each, each other. The fuck? What was that? I don't remember any of it, but it really seemed like me. Does that mean that I know whoever the shadow is? Or at least knew at some point? This must be what the guide meant about this being directly connected to why I'm here. I need more answers. And maybe I should bring someone along? Another pivotal choice. Oh boy. I mean, why would we go alone when we can ask for help, you know? I'll make a save just because I'll probably want to see the other ending later. It's probably a bad ending, let's be real. <laughs> Yeah, I need Rahel by my side. Thinking of where I've worked once before, so hopefully it will again. Here goes nothing. 